how chess derived how this happened how this game came to this world a chess is a pawn game it is like a pawn of a tiger who having four nails ahead four nails here so he is putting a pawn on a chess like this and he is putting a two thumb on a back side like this so now this become a pawns 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this eight pawns are there so his stance is like this black panther or black tiger like this if another white white tiger and white any species like this they have pawns so now they have to attack and defense like this like this they are doing like this they always fight like this <coughs> so the first stance is like this so this is a chess stance four pawns plus four pawns eight pawns are there now in the back side they have the thumb which is important everybody knows the thumb thumbs are important because we use this thumb for impression of our identification so thumb is also important with finger but thumb is also important so now this thumb become in your chess it's called a king and it's called a wazir or queen king queen or king wazir in your rules of game of chess so now what 4 plus 4 8 pawns and two king and wazir are like that now they think a game supposed to be like this the both the same type of enemy are fighting in the war now how to fight they show like this in this game now if they put like this now they are fighting so they don't have only a king and raja and this pawns these are the armies whatever the divide into eight parts of their army it becomes like this eight part any army if is 1000 divided in eight parts it become like 100 100 120 120 whatever if you have one lakh divide eight part in army so these are the eight regiments eight regiments are there now king and queen <clears throat> now they don't have only regiments now they have also the equipments which can move from here to there so they use horses and rookies like oot right rook and oh no sorry it's not a rook it's a bishop and it's horse so horse and bishop they use bishops go diagonally horse go two and a half steps and you call a rook is hopping is rook is going straight both the sides straight like this four side straight so this is a game so they according to your system and according to your chess game you treated rook as a elephant but in egyptian or in hebrew rook means a uh, protection so you you thought it's a elephant so you make a rook rook <coughs> now you make a horses and you make a bishops and you make a king and wazir now according to your systems you are telling that king will move only one step ahead diagonal left right and back and back diagonal you know. everybody knows the king only moves one step why if first of all i am asking you question everybody why will king move only one step he is a king if a whole country has chosen him as a king he is supposed to be a most powerful person in the whole regiment and whole country so he is a king so never thought king only move one step i object king cannot move one step that means now king become wazir that wazir it's not a wazir it's a wazir alam that means he is a king because he is moving straight like a rook he is going diagonal like a bishop only he can not jump because we have created a law that only horses can jump on any of this players like 
broke or any pawns or anything wazir king whatever only horse can jump from anybody so there is a already rule so wazir alam a king which i declared as a king he only he also can go straight diagonal right left and back diagonal but he cannot jump from any of them so according to the rule nobody can jump except horse and it's only a two and a half step now according to my view what you are telling king is not a king i am telling it is a treasure a temple treasure or national treasure of that particular regiment or particular territory or particular kingdom it is a treasure they hide the treasure now if you are telling it is a chessling chessling now everybody knows in chessling rook and king can move there are rules of chessling everybody knows when chessling can be happen chessling means if somebody given the check then you cannot do the chessling that means somebody see the treasure of your kingdom then you cannot do chessling because you have no time to do chessling because chessling is only done when a war is going on in a chess and nobody is watching and at the stop at the time you can do chessling at the time you can do chessling the first rule is that nobody can see your king if anybody check the king you cannot do the chessling second rule in chessling there should there should be a vacant area between unoccupied area between rook and king there is a bishop and there is a horse on the left side suppose they are playing on the black the left side they have bishop and horse in between rook and king and ahead there are three or four pawns are there so if you move one pawn and you remove the the bishop from that area and you move the horse from that area that means now you are vacant to do the chessling now if you are doing chessling at that moment so you have to move first of all king first of all you have made the rule that you have to move king only one step the king is moving one step so just tell me why in chessling you are moving two steps why how can at that time he got a energy the whole king get an energy according to your system whole team get energy how can you think that a king can move two steps okay let assume that <coughs> king has a power extra power he can move two step i agree if you have some valid point i agree it's okay now tell me if king is moving two steps how can a rook move from his position to the bishop position how there are three pawns ahead of them he cannot move how you are rotating your rook from rotated uh, rook's space to bishop space how how can you use 1 2 3 and 3 and 1/2 how how if horse is only jump 2 and 1/2 steps how can this rook can jump who is heavy than the horse how can he jump from Three and a half steps. How? That means your all all appeals are wrong. That means that is not a rook. It's something else. Who have special powers? Now, how can I have special powers? Now I will explain you. That means he is not a rook. First of all, he is not an elephant. He is not a hathi. He is a a fort, a fort, a wall, a fort wall. it is a corner of a fort wall so when the game has been begin and starting this both fort have the rays they are diagonal so they make a rays and they protect whole kingdom by the rays like this he protect his horse his bishops never thought elephant move or this your rook is move in between of that squares no he is moving and creating a wall on the 
line of that square line like this the front line of the space front line he is walking from the front line so he is not walking he is shooting a rays so it makes a like this he is sho shooting the rays because he is standing over here so he have to shoot from here this is a square this is a corner of the chest this is black spot is a corner of the on the last corner of the right side of the last corner of the chest and rook is sitting over here so you always shoot a rays from here or he always create a wall from here not from back side because back side is already wall you cannot go from this point because this is a a c or a vacant area or a, any hole is there you cannot go there so this is already a block area so you don't want to create a nobody will come from here no army will come from here because only two army are fighting so no army is coming from here so no need to go and create a wall from here so he is always creating a wall from his front side so he is sitting like this like this position this is wall so now you have to create a wall or you have to create a, a electric fence so you have to shoot from here so he is shooting like this and it goes straight like this and cover complete regiment vishya horse king wazir and this side also bishop horse all of them so they are protecting by the laser rays electronic fence electrical fence they are creating so then nobody come over here if somebody will come i will hit him with the space that is a law now they don't care about what the pawns are doing because pawns are ahead of that portion so they are going for fighting first then somebody die then our army is coming in the war in the battle so now <clears throat> That means they are wall. They are electric fencer. They are shooting the electric fence and they are creating a wall to protect them, hang them. Now, according to the system, if he is, a, he can move with his razor rays when you have to save your kingdom. Now I will show the what is the chess link. King is over here. Two spaces are open. Horse and bishop space are open. Now, first of all, a king move. Now, all the peoples. This is a treasure, treasure, national treasure of the kingdom. So, what everybody when they are not fighting, come and join this area to push that. Completely push that treasure. One step like this. Then two step like this. They push the pressure. They push the treasure in a different area. At that time, nobody is fighting. Chessling means halt the game. Wherever you are, stop the game. So everybody keep and quiet. Nobody is fighting, and all of a sudden, a chessling has been happened. Everything died like that. This is a war is going on. So every everybody come and they push the treasure. They push the treasure one step. Two step inside the wall, touching to the wall. At that horse position, they push like this. One, two. When the treasure is coming in the place of horse, now this he, he the wall the wall go like this, and he covered that treasure. So he will come to the position of because. At this location, here also there is a no place to go, and somebody will come. Somebody will come at this rook position or this wall position. The king will kill him. He has the rights to kill him. So nobody. And here is a pawn. Is there? Here is a pawn. Here also pawn. But this rook will move like this. That means there is a no problem of a protection behind the this temple treasure. Or national treasure. There is no way. There is no chance to come. Nobody will come over there. If anybody come there, he will crash because three pawns are also there. Now no, no, nobody will can beat that person. So treasure will dump that person. He will. Die. So nobody will come. So that is a protect area. So what rook is doing? In my perception, it's not a rook. It's a wall. The wall creating another wall and make a short wall. Now he making short wall. Now he come in between like this. This is a 
area, corner, and now he's shooting like this, and he's creating a wall. He's creating this way and this side. So he, now he's protecting the tricep. So this is, this is called a chest lift. This is chest lift. It's like a, they chain the lock. They chain the lock. First of all, lock is like that. Now they chain the, they make a small lock. First of all, you open this lock. Now open this lock. If you want to try, open this lock. So they create a lock, a small lock. First of all, they create a big lock. Now they create a small lock to hide the treasure. This is chest. So they are hiding this treasure. So this is a game of chess. So you have to fight and kill the anybody. So I am suggesting everybody in the world, if you want to play, if you want to play a chess, play like that, that you have to, there is the one rule on the chess, you cannot kill anybody. Without killing, you have to checkmate your opponent. Without killing anybody, even not a single pawn, you have to kill, you have to make a checkmate of opponent. That's a real game of chess. Never play chess for killing. Try to protect ourselves and try to protect enemy also. And just make checkmate and make him fight. After making checkmate, when game is finished, let's shake hand and become a friend. So life is also telling the same thing. First of all, you have to fight with each other. But you fight like that, nobody can hurt, harm or get any physical or financial problem to them. Fight with them. Just fight with the mantle. Chess is a mantle game. Just fight like, like a mantle. You are mantle fighting. When you finish the game, just get up from the seat and shake the hands. Shake the hand and just tell them and appreciate their efforts and praise them how they fought fight in this game. You have given me a best, best challenger. You are a nice guy. You are a nice guy. Just give him appreciation. That will make a game much more, much more lively. And most people will play in this world, this game. Because it creates a humanity and friendships and love. There is no hatred in the, inside there is no hatred for each other. They will play this chess game, even though it is a war game, even though they learn something which is affectionate, love, relationships, humanity, so many things are there. Play chess like that. You never ever kill anybody in the chess game and finish the game by doing the checkmate. That's it. Whatever, if you want to kill somebody, go back step. Be, go your two back step back. Go back step. Don't kill that guy. Don't kill that. Even you can kill by the pawns the person who is a king or wazir. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Now play the game. Don't kill anybody. Even though you have a chance with the pawns you have to kill the wazir. Don't kill. Let him go. Let him go. Try to only captivate the king or treasure. That's it. And finish the game. And be a friend. Simple. Your whole perception according to the chess, playing chess, it will change. Complete world will accept this idea. It's unique. It's unique. Nobody thought before like that.